Fish one, guys. Fish one. Nice. What's happening, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to go ahead and reach out to all of the fathers today on this episode right here. I know it's a week late coming at you right here on this episode right here, but I'm a father myself, so I decided I wanted to take a break too because it's Father's Day, guys. So gentlemen, thank you for all of your efforts and taking care of your families right there. I hope you're enjoying your day and relaxing and hopefully getting all kinds of crazy, if not not wanted gifts, but you put the smile on and you do your thing. Obviously, I want to reach out to the patriarch of my family. Pops, I love you, man. Hopefully you enjoy this episode uh, while you're sitting there uh, lounging about there up there in Lake Wellam Powpack. We are going to go ahead and just sit on our butt all day today. That's literally what's happening right now. It's a lazy day, and I'm just going to watch for anything that tugs on the end of the line. I do not know what species it's going to hit on the end of the line, and I don't even know how long I'm going to be out here, but it's a little bit windy right now. I, again, I hate doing intros inside of a car, but I wanted to spare you guys with all the microphone noise. I'm sure you heard it on the last episode, but there was no way to avoid it when you're on a boat in the middle of a, a river there, but I'm hoping you guys will enjoy this as it's going along right here. I got a couple baits. I'm at one of my favorite locations that I like to come to so we're down in Sussex County and uh, you'll know exactly right where I'm at right now I'm a little bit early here so I don't know what to expect uh, because again normally I'm coming here a little bit later in the summer if not into the fall uh, at this particular location so let's get out of the car let's start dropping some lines and uh, let's see what happens throughout the day as we're getting our uh, rods all situated right here and getting our rigs that we need to put down into the water right here. I want to go ahead and give that quick shout out to Henlope and Bait and Tackle. They're providing with all my bait needs today. We have live and artificial that we're using right now. Our live bait is going to be sand fleas and then the artificial is going to be the fish bites that everybody likes to use over right here. This is the uh, blood worm alternative bag of worms. It's a quarter inch uh, width strip here and we'll put this on uh, two different rigs, these baits right here. One is going to be the regular traditional high-low, and then we're going to pop out something that we've never used before. I think I'll use it once, and it lasted like two seconds because I got it hooked up, but we're going to have a sabiki rig right out here. We're going to have tiny pieces of uh, this bloodworm alternative on there, and we're going to try to see if we can pick up uh, maybe a fish that we can use as some cut bait uh, that will help us get us some species that we've never caught on this uh, particular uh, landing that we're on right now. So give me a couple seconds to get everything all situated, and uh, hopefully we can get that bite on. I'm sure most of you know what a, a high-low looks like. I mean, it's one of the most common things that are out there that people use when they fish out on these piers and everything else like that, but not too many people come out fishing with sabiki rigs, and that's what this is right here in front of you. Basically, it's just a, a line that's got multiple hooks on it. This one has six on it, and that's what we're going to put our fish bites on the end of and uh, hopefully try to get some smaller species on the end of the line, mainly, hopefully, maybe croaker or possibly even... Uh, some spot on the end of the line. The spot is what I'm looking for here to possibly use as our cut bait and uh, Todd could be here. We could have sheep's head over here, striper come through here. Uh, we got some crazy looking eels that come through here. They're pretty nasty but one way or the other we're gonna make something happen today. But as you can see as I stretch it out here that's the sabiki rig looks like right now before we put all the bait on it. It's got some uh, little uh, feathers that are on the end of it right here to kind of entice the fish with some different color uh, beads that are on it. These are all hand tied. But I'm going to have to go ahead and devise something to uh, put a heavier sinker on here because uh, this is not going to be able to hold the bigger sinkers that I have. This little snap swivel that's right here. <laughs> We got our sabiki rig all situated right here. We got a three ounce sinker with our multiple hooks that have got the fish bites on it. Check out our uh, cool looking uh, snowy eagle right here. It's one of our fine birds we get to see here right along the shorelines right here. Uh, they're always pretty cool. They're right on the edge just like the great blue herons. And uh, he's stalking all of the minnow that are going right along these rocks right now. So let's drop this right here and uh, keep an eye on nature right here and see how uh, this young uh, bird does. But uh, I dropped this rig right here into the water and I was already immediately getting bites right here. So it looks like we might have a decent day today. But uh, let's drop down that sabiki rig and see if we can get our smaller species because I'm reserving that one for the bigger species. And I may even go up and down the uh, pier right here with uh, my uh, stronger rod right here if we do happen to have a tog bite that's going on right now. So let's... Uh, Get some fleas on the end of the uh, high-low we're using right here. Yeah. 
and uh, let's put the uh, positivity vibes down the end of the lines right here and see if those fish work their way in. Let's try to find our little piling over here. Just drop it right there. I've seen a report already where somebody got a sheep's head right on this uh, landing right now. Massey's landing is where we're at. I'm sure you've already guessed that already. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this rod because again, these tog are pretty quick. And by the time I get to my rod, it's already too late. They've got it. The wind is getting a little ridiculous out here right now. 10, 15 mile an hour gusts here and there. Uh, so it's gonna make it for a, a tough go fishing here, but we're gonna obviously go ahead and uh, hump through this and try to get through this episode. We are getting some nibbles on the end of the line. Uh, I had, within the first half hour of being right here, guys, multiple people coming up to me and saying hi, and they say they enjoy our videos here. So whoever popped up to me while uh, this video is going on in front of you right now, thank you very much. I appreciate you talking to me. I appreciate you watching the videos. Of course, uh, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell. That way I'm informed of all the future episodes. Folks, if you're out there and uh, you see me anywhere, whether it be on a landing, a pier, on the shoreline, on these boats, or wherever, don't feel afraid like you can't come up to me and say hi guys i'm very personable i'm very approachable and i will have conversations with you and of course obviously try to get intel from you <laughs> uh, on future uh, episodes that could be created here but uh, we're waiting for that first nibble waiting for that first bite so stick it out let's see uh what we can get going on right here i'm feeling that that's going to be a possibility right now i can see the tip kind of like moving like there's something on the end of the line and i do want to get something off that sabiki rig i talked to the uh fine gentleman at the end right here and uh because i saw him catch a fish over there i didn't see what it was but he uh, caught a uh, trout which i'm so glad that they're back here guys because uh it's been a long while since we saw some decent ones usually they're always the small ones but back in the day when i was a kid man there was big ones man but uh they're starting to come back a little bit maybe it's just for this year i don't know but it's spotty but we got our uh, snowy little egret back here but we're gonna up our weight right here we're gonna go to oh there's a bang right there as we're talking but we're going to switch up to the uh, five ounce so I can get that line up and down. I think I already have a five on here. If I'm not, no, I got a four on here. Let's see if that extra ounce helps uh, keep this thing down there. Later on, like I said, I'll pick up this rod and I'll walk down the edge here if it is indeed a tog and see if we can try to get a couple here. They are, I think, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, they are out of season right now. So you cannot keep them. You have to put them back into the water. Uh, don't ask me when that's going to start. I think it's back in July. I think it's when it restarts again. If I'm wrong, guys, drop a comment below. I don't have my book. It's inside there. Actually, you know what? I can look right here. Let's see if it's in the season here on the uh, ruler. That might have it on there. Let's check it out. And that would be... May 16th through June 30th. So yes, we are in the closed season right here. You can look right there. So anything you get, you gotta put it back in the water. Look at this big old boat, guys. My God. <laughs> that is a giant boat. Got a sleeper down on the bottom of it. Look at this, guys. He's got four outboards on here. I don't know what horse they are. I haven't seen it yet. But it's definitely the biggest boat I've ever seen here over on Massey's Landing, but uh, we're not getting anything yet off of our uh, fish bites here. I laugh every time I come down here. Nothing like watching all the finest boaters in Delaware, man. And I'm saying that sarcastically. There are some absolute geniuses on the water today. On. What do we got? All right, we got a spot. Perfect. That's cut bait right there. We are not skunked. But we will use him for the sabiki rig. I'm happy we're on the board right here. I've got a spot that I cut up right here at the top of the rig and then a spot down on the bottom of the rig right here. But what I did was I was sitting out here in the open, nothing was happening, but as soon as I cast it right up here where these pilings are at, right between the flow, that's where I got that first bite at. Bottom got hit right there. 
probably hit me when I uh, was trying to pull that spot off of the uh, Sabiki rig there. There you go, fish. That's a good one, guys. Real good one, whatever it is. Oh, no, that's a nice striper, man. Nice striper. There we go, guys. There we go. <laughs> there you go, man. <laughs> we gotta get this fish over here. <laughs> that thing slammed the living daylights out of the uh, sand fleas. <laughs> wow, nice. Our striper, the battery died at the most inopportune time, but it is 20 inches long. But I'm so happy we got a big old fish on the end of the line. <laughs> it's been a while since I caught a striper out of here. Let's get her on her way. Off she goes. <laughs> Spot and a striper. I'm happy, folks. I would have never thought we were going to get a striper right off the uh, piling right there, but we did. We almost got everything all fixed back up. And my line was all twisted up and... Took a little bit of surgery, but we got it uh, all unraveled here, and we're gonna get that back out there again. This striper that you just saw right there was caught on the outgoing tide. And loop and beat and tackle if you're watching. Thank you for the fleas. <laughs> They're yours, and they caught that striper today. But I'm literally sitting right next to this piling that's right there in front of us. I'm trying to get that free, and just real close there. So we got two species on. Obviously it's a multi-species episode. Let's see if we can get any more. Sean. Little spot, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna give this spot to the gentleman that's on my left hand side right here. He's gonna go ahead and use that as cut bait. Thank you. But uh gotta love when you catch those guys because it opens up the door for more species but so far everything's on the fish bites and the fleas nothing off the spot yet as I'm watching this water here we're getting fairly close to a uh, slack tide you can see that the uh, current has cut down exponentially and it's already coming almost to a standstill here so I'm curious to see what we catch on the change of tide here you can't have summer without having spot on the end of the line If I catch any more, do you want them too as well? Oh, yeah. Okay. Looks like the spotter in the area, man. He's still tearing you up, man. Oh, that's my line. I'm sitting there talking to him like it's his fishing rod. It's my fishing rod. <laughs> there you got fish on. All right, another spot. Got to bunch them in the area. Sabiki rig. Sabiki rig. Same thing on the fish bite. Fish bite. I might. I got some fish bite. I'm gonna use that. Use it. Thanks, sir. There you go. I'm glad that somebody's getting some use out of those. We are definitely a slack tide. The bite is completely dropped off. So we're just gonna wait for this changeover and hopefully things pick back up again. Tide is shifting over here. You can clearly see it's going the opposite way here. So we're gonna yeah. flop it right up underneath it there, guys. Clean and close. What's that? All right, man, let's see what this guy's got going on right here. You got a fish way out there. What it is. Oh man, it's a big croaker maybe? Yeah, could be. Uh, yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Something's coming in. <laughs> it's about eight or nine inch croaker right there. Yep. Good deal. Yeah. Do you keep them? Nah, you can toss them there. Not My man's got another one on here. <laughs> <laughs> I think you might have another croaker on. What's your name? Richard. Richard, okay. Richard's from New York, guys. 
Let's see what he's got here. Yes, All right, another croaker. Awesome. Yeah, he's big enough to. You can hear him from here. Yeah. <laughs> Off she goes. Good deal. There we go, fish on. What do we got here? And we have two sea bass. <laughs> How about that? Three species on the boat today, guys. <laughs> sea bass. All right. A little double slam there. It's amazing what the tide brings in. Little guys. Off she goes. Can we get four species on the end of the line? We've got three so far. Sea bass, striper, and spot. Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. <laughs> Stupid oyster cracker. <laughs> All right, guys, we got the uh, junk fish on the end of the line right here. The good old toad fish. It was playing with it very, very slowly, but we'll get our tool here to get that knucklehead off the end of the line. Yeah, no, uh, oyster cracker. Yeah. But we'll get our... Uh, very useful tool right here to get that out of there. Just got to find out where the hook is at. He got it down there pretty good because I let him play with it for a good long while. There he goes. Good deal. That was easy enough. Fish on, guys. Fish on. Nice. Oh, another nice striper, guys. <laughs> there you go. Wow. Two in one day. <laughs> uh, 31. <laughs> Two, man. Come on now. <laughs> Outstanding. I had to turn around. My rod was up in the air because this thing slammed it so hard. They almost pour you <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, we're missing my pliers here somewhere. But I think that one's bigger than the other one here. Oh, he just came off. Just came off. I can't believe we got two of these in one day, guys. Come on. Stay still. There we go. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Perfect. Let's measure it out. I think it's a little shorter than the other one. What do we got here, folks? Morning. Nah. That one is uh, almost 20. Just 19 inches, guys. That's how big that striper is. Perfect. <laughs> got a full stomach right here. Same thing on the sand fleas. Sharon Love gave some uh, sand fleas to a, another subscriber who happens to be here the past couple minutes here, but I'm amazed that all the people that are showing up here today recognize me, but thank you very much. But let's get the striper back into the water. Absolutely pumped today, guys. And she's gone. I think those were two great looking Father's Day gifts that were on the end of my line today. I didn't have to go anywhere than two feet from here 
to there to get this beautiful striper on the end of the line. Usually what's coming through here is nothing but schoolies, but today we got 19 inches and 20 inch respectfully on the end of the line on just one little flea on a high-low, guys. <laughs> That's it. But uh, I'm, I'm excited still, guys. You can tell. But we got other species on the end of the line. We got some sea bass. We got that toadfish on the end of the line. We got some spot. Uh, Richard got into the game and got us some croaker that you guys could see. And of course, Charles, who I gave the spot to, he caught a 19 inch striper so what a fantastic day to fish on father's day i want to go ahead one more time to all the fathers that watch the channel right here i want to wish you guys one more time happy father's day hopefully you guys are having a great day give me that thumbs up guys subscribe to the channel click the notification bell go ahead and follow us on instagram at 302 fishing again one more time drop a comment below if you want to drop me a happy father's day wish I'm going to get out of here because I'm super tired. Make sure you watch the video on the right-hand side. Hopefully you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you next weekend.